Hey folks, it's Pat here. Got a question on a chapter seven problem here today, and I uh, figured it's a good one to do a video on just because um, a lot of people get jammed up on this one. That's normal distribution finding a raw score. Um, in order to solve these problems, all you're going to do is use the Alex calculator, okay? Um, and you're going to use the Z formula. And remember, Z is equals X minus uh, mean divided by uh, standard deviation, okay? Um, but these are a little bit tricky because you're gonna do it backwards, okay? <laughs> so you're gonna use a percentage value to find, use your z-score, okay, to find x in this case, which is your raw score. And that might not make much sense, but here, let me just show you how to do it real quick. All right, so this problem here is the distribution of scores on a standardized aptitude test is approximately normal with a mean of 520 and a standard deviation of 105. What's the minimum score needed to be in the top 5% of the test? You're going to use this button here to figure out what the Z value for this percentage is. Okay, and so in this case, top 5% is all the way on the tippy top and then one end of the tail. So we're going to punch in 0 0.05, Z 0 0.05, and it's going to give us a really high Z value right here. So um, you should be able to tell whether or not you've done this right just based upon this value right here. So if it's going to be below the mean, of course, it's going to be a negative value. And if it's going to be above the mean, of course, it's going to be a positive value. So 0.5% is pretty high up there. So it's almost two standard deviations away from the mean. And so this z-score should look good. And then we're just going to punch it in reverse into the z formula. So this is our z. So we're going to multiply that by our standard deviation, which is 105. Oops. Ah, there we go, 105. <laughs> okay, and then just add whatever that mean score is. All right, so then you add your mean, 520, giving us a raw score of 692. So think about this logically. If 520 is the mean, 692 is a pretty high score, so that's got to be in that top 5%. So let's just go ahead and punch that in. And of course, always check what it wants you to round to on these problems here because it changes with each one. So nearest integer, which is our nearest whole number, which is going to be 693. Let's go ahead and check that. And there we go. We got that one right. Um, check out the explanation on this one here real quick just to kind of walk you through it. And this is where most people get jammed up is because they look at the explanation. And they see all this math in here. It's like, oh, my God, look at all that. OK, but conceptually, we're just looking for this tippy top of the tail right here. And so, again, 0.05. So take that, punch it into the Z button right here. Oops. You got to do the Z button first. <laughs> 0.05. OK, gives us our Z score. And our z-score here, we're just going to take it, multiply it by our standard deviation, and then add our mean. So multiply it by your standard deviation, 105, and then add our mean, which is 520, which gives us our raw score. Just the order operations, we're just doing this formula backwards. That's all there is to these problems. Just be really careful about what you're looking for. So, for example, if we're looking for the top 95th percentile right here, so it would be way down here. We do top nine, or we do Z 0.95, and notice we're going to get a negative number for this one, okay? So just be careful when you read the problems. See if you're looking way down here and looking for everything to the right of that, or way up here and everything to the right of that, whatever it is, punch that into the calculator here using the Z button, and then just do the order of operations on this one. Multiply it by your standard deviation, then add your mean, and you're going to get your raw score. So I hope that one helps. A couple of these are tricky, so if you get jammed up on one or two, try another one. Um, but at the same point in time, if you have any questions, ping me anytime, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.